Hey everyone, it's Adam here. I'm super excited to talk to you guys about um, events. So it's January 31st. You won't see this for a few days. Uh, you know how I know it's the off season? My Apple Watch link bracelet, see it moving? Um, I don't really, I don't, I'm trying to break this habit, but I don't work out in the winter time. I need to start actually doing squats and lunges and running again. I'm sorry, a little bit. Because, um, I get out of fitness in the winter time, and I always know I get out of fitness because I have to remove, um, in total between the November and April, two links from my Apple Watch link bracelet, and then add them back in in like July and August because my wrist gets bigger again from uh, from working out off road uh, on the bikes. So, um, you know, I have already gained 10 pounds since November. Uh, I already feel sluggish, and you know, my wrists are getting smaller, my arms are getting smaller. It's just, it's really bad. So. Um, got the iPad out. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about this year's riding season, and I know that it's not quite yet February, but but we already have almost the, the whole year mapped out. Uh, and I say we, I mean me. Um, so let me just turn off my calendars here. So let's turn off my work calendar because no one wants that. Um, we kick this year off actually. Well, February is going to be one week off when I'm in Florida. I spend Christmas in Florida. Um, I spend Christmas in Florida in February or March every year because I don't want to buy airline tickets um, for Christmas, so I go home in Florida, not motorcycle related, but um, that's off time for me. I'm looking forward to it because I didn't take any Christmas time off. Um, the whole month of February, starting the 1st, is going to be finishing the GS, the R1200 GS Adventure. It's not a motorcycle event, but it is for me. Um, in the next eight days, my wheels will be back from Woody's. Uh, then we'll start installing the um, all the alt rider protective bits, uh, the exhaust, and then um, uh, racks, luggage racks. Then this bike is going to get moved um, either off site or like in storage behind my house. It's locked, don't worry. Uh, and then in its place, March, um, we will be moving the K75 RT that I purchased down to where I'm sitting. It'll get completely taken apart. And I can't wait to share with you the planning that's have been involved in that. Hopefully, I'll be able to start riding this before the K75 is done. Uh, so I'm thinking March 1st into like April 10th. That's what I'm assuming will be the schedule for the K75. Uh, and that's gonna be several videos, a whole bunch of stuff in there. So February and March, pretty occupied. My sister, who was born in 2000, so she's gonna be 19 this year. Um, is going to be visiting me middle of March for a week for her spring break. It's going to be awesome because our lake will still be frozen over so we can go out and play around. Maybe take the, the beta out finally. Um, first motorcycle event of the year uh, is actually April 6th. It's the Vermont BMW Motorcycles, the most BMW Motorcycles of Vermont Mud Bash. This is not a riding event unless you want to ride. You're more than welcome. Um, April 6th is it's riding season. Yeah. You layer up a little bit. Um, hopefully the snow and salt will be, the snow will be melted, but there'll still be a lot of salt and sand on the roads here in Vermont. It's the Mud Bash. It's a dinner. It's a raffle charity auction. It's a lot of fun and you guys should go. Um, I think it's free for members, but don't quote me on that. But you should definitely consider going to the MOV Mud Bash. Uh, most of I mentioned will be on the Vermont BMW uh, site, bmwmov.wildapricot.org, I think. Um, Go check out the, the events there. Uh, if you join for 20 bucks, most of the events are like free, including food, including sleeping. So like $20, if you go to two events, you're 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 like making money. Um, April 20th, for the third year in a row, I have committed to going to uh, the JVB Tech Day in, uh, uh, rough, I think it's around Falls Church, Virginia area. Uh, Jim, who runs JVB Productions, has uh, you know invited me a couple of years in a row. Every year on April 20th, it's either rained, like downpour, or it's snowed, or it's been so cold that the rain and snow turned to ice. So, um, you know, I look at pictures and it's beautiful down there, and I'm up here sitting in snow with a snowy driveway in 10 degree weather, wishing I was down in Virginia. So, April 20th, JVB Tech Day. Uh, the threads on Adventure Rider, if you want to check it out, all are welcome. It's a really great time. Um, a week later, April 26th to 28th, is the Yankee Beamer's Frosty Nuts. As the name suggests, I wasn't lying to you guys, it's the last week of April every year and it's still effing cold. You're still going to get possibly snowed on. So uh, it's a lot of fun. 
but it's for hardcore people. You need a zero degree uh, tent. Um, so for May, I actually don't have a lot of events yet. Um, there's definitely stuff happening, but I didn't commit to anything yet because I have on uh, May 14th, uh, my first track slash instruction day uh, down in Connecticut. It's going to be at um, Thompson Speedway in Thompson, Connecticut, uh, Tuesday, May 14th. I get there the night before and camp out. If you're going to it and you want to camp next to me and have some hot dogs and just sort of chill out, uh, I'm getting there the 13th evening and then uh, leaving the 14th evening. Um, it's my first track day. I'll be on the GS, I'll be on the Naki tires. Uh, they're almost brand new tires. Uh, they may not be after the DC trip, but um, I, I'm really excited for this. This is uh, after my crash last year, I've got a little bit of anxiety about twisties. And um, you know, with this plus the MSF F Advanced course I'm taking, I think I'll enter um, summer and be really, really confident on this bike again, where I wasn't as much last year. So I kept my made pretty open. We do have um, a Bailey Hazen ride, which is a Vermont road, really nice dirt and mixed tarmac road on Friday, May 31st. Um, that's a North Northeast Kingdom Vermont ride. A lot of fun, you should go. It's not fast paced or anything. It's just really chill. Uh, street tires refined. And then the day after is the MOV puppy dog ride. Um, so we're gonna be doing north to south this year. Um, so starting north on Saturday after the Bailey Hazen ride. And it's camping at Silver Lake State Park. Again, if you're a member of MOV, it's free uh, to camp and to eat. So really, I mean, $20 and you get a night of camping plus the PDR plus eating. It's a no brainer. <laughs> uh, and then ending out at the Vermont mass border on Sunday and then driving home on uh, 91 North. And then the weekend after that, this is uh, June now, June 6th, 7th and 8th is the Pimmy River campground event. Um, from Yankee Beamers. I went to, that was the first rally I ever went to in June of 2016. I had just had my bike since April. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a blast. I really had a lot of fun. Uh, good, good group of people. They really take care of their riders. Um, then we have June 13th through 15th, no, 13th through 16th, uh, the BMW MOA National Rally for which I have volunteered. So I'm going to be doing whatever I can to help out my first year going to a national rally and also my first year as a BMW regional coordinator. I, uh, oh, also I left out something out here. This is kind of unrelated. Um, I'm going to March, sorry. Uh, March 9th is the BMW MOA regional coordinator region, a regional meeting, uh, in, uh, Saratoga Springs, New York. So all the New England RCs are going to get it together with some of the um, uh, Vermont BMW chapters, local chapters, and have kind of a powwow, a 2019 powwow. Uh, I don't think I'll be writing to that because it's gonna be March 9th, but maybe. You never know with weather, how it's gonna go. All right, so after we have the uh, national rally, then uh, the 28th of June is the Lake Carmi Campout, uh, also a MOV event. I may or may not go to that one, we're not sure yet. Um, July, believe it or not, nothing. And we'll get to that in a separate video, I think. Uh, August, okay, this is gonna be tough. All the guys I ride with aren't BMW riders. The guys that I ride off-road with, um, dirt riders, uh, they really wanna go to Fundy this year. Jesse, our fearless leader, has been going to Fundy, and he's been a volunteer slash charger kickoff planner for dirt days during americade for the past like five years jesse in august will be on the tat um this year with scott so and a couple other guys they're doing the tats they can't go to uh, fundy or dirt days which for some reason this year fall in the exact same week um more on this later i've offered to help out virtually as much as i can with dirt days because they've moved it from americade weekend and new york to um, August 15th and Vermont. It's now co-sponsored with Toratex. The Toratex rally in Pennsylvania, I think is canceled this year. And they're encouraging everyone to go to Suicide Six in Vermont uh, as dirt days. I've offered Christian to help. Um, if my friends are locally convinced me to go to Fundy, which is in New Brunswick, um, I'll probably end up going with them. 
I personally prefer to be more involved with Dirt Days because it's a Vermont event. Um, it's 30, it's 25 minutes from my house, and um, I think I have a bigger impact as far as the MOA RC role goes and the BMW MOV role goes by going to uh, Dirt Days as a representative for both clubs. So we'll see how that goes. But that's um, same weekend in August. And then finally, September 4th, Green Mountain Rally, um, which is going to be uh, once again at the uh, Camp Thorpe in, uh, in the Green Mountains of Vermont. That is September 4th through, well, sorry, 6th through 8th. I'm going to 4th to set up camp and uh, start volunteering. Whew. So that's it. That's my year so far. Um, in addition, there's going to be monthly breakfast at different clubs. Uh, there's going to be uh, another track or MSF day taking place in New York. There's going to be surely a Max BMW event uh, happening at some point. Um, there's like a dual sport drive-in. There's uh, something like GSs in the woods or something. There's always like a Max BMW event in the fall and uh, July. So last year was not tough on like our relationship, but my girlfriend expressed you know displeasure with how last year went so imagine we did all that stuff last year that i just listed off you know as far as the weekends away so all that stuff happened last year and then the last two weeks of july i was riding the trans labrador uh 4, miles with um with bb8 so when you consider that we have like seven or eight four-day weekends of motorcycle events and then oh by the way i'm gonna spend two weeks on the bike going to the middle of nowhere with no cell phone service uh and also by the way we're not going on a vacation this year <laughs> you, you say it out loud it's like oh man what, what a dick uh, heather's really understanding she really is um after like september of 2018 she's like can you promise me we're going to europe this year we usually go to europe every year uh one year we went twice that year, one year um, to, as a couple, I went more than that for work, but, uh, we, have, we didn't go to Europe at all in 2018. So we definitely want to go to Europe in 2018. Um, I don't know where yet. We just, we generally do quick trips like five days or something. Um, she's still not at a place with her job where she can take a long, um, long time away from work, um, both in earned hours and in just responsibility goes. I, on the other hand, have been at my, this company for nine years and, um, I earn uh, 7.7 .7 hours every week in earn time, and I can bank 200 hours or five straight weeks of off time. So five straight working weeks, so plus weekends um, of, of off time. So theoretically, I can go away for five weeks if I want to uh, per year, um, roughly. Yeah, I don't know, something like that, for maybe four weeks a year. So. I don't have a bigger problem as she does, so obviously, and she doesn't really like riding the motorcycle more than 10 minutes, nor does she like camping on off a bike. So um, I'm not gonna let her not liking this hold me back from doing my events, but there has to be a push and shove where, okay, you know, don't you know, go away seven weekends, not 11, that kind of thing. Um, so I don't, I don't think I'll be doing any long distance trips this year, which is a bummer only because I enjoy the non-rally experience of just kind of riding solo uh, and just going off to somewhere I've never been before and you know not knowing where I am, it's just fun. So, um, you know, that might happen on a small level. I really want to go back to Newfoundland. Uh, the other way, not the La Trans Labrador way, but the, um, but the Nova Scotia way. Uh, we maybe do it in our car, I don't know. So um, that, that'll be something that we do as a travel series, but you know, the bike, uh, we'll probably still get it's 12,000 miles this year, but it won't get the full experience that my GS got last year. Um, plus, we're entering this year with the GS, which is going to be the dual purpose adventure bike. We're also entering the year of the Beta, which I didn't have last August. I got less last August. And we're also into the year with the new touring bike, the K75. So, um, you know, the GS hopefully will get less miles on it this year. I plan on keeping this bike a long time, and I think 14,000 miles is unsustainable per year. Um, if you plan on keeping the bike for 10 years, it's, it's a really not doable. So splitting that mileage up between three bikes means that I can uh, camp off this one, uh, off-road off this one, and the K75 can be 
you know, a commuter. It can be whatever I want it to be. Uh, it can even be a touring machine if I want it to be. So that's my year so far. Uh, I told the Quebec group that the Quebec group actually has, sorry, I forgot one thing that's on my calendar. Um, July 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th is the Quebec QC rally. If you can speak French, you should definitely go. Don't skip that one. There's also the Down East Rally happening in Maine sometime in June, I think. Those are worth going to, not on my list, but they're worth going to for you guys. Um, and then there's uh, the Tale of the Dragon event in March that the QC group is doing. I told them I'm not doing that this year. It just comes down to, I've got two bikes that are in pieces right now. I need to get fixed back up. Um, and as far as October, November riding, that's the best riding of the year. There's going to be Canadian Thanksgiving, which takes place in October with the uh, Quebec group. They'll come down to um, the White Mountains of New Hampshire. That's going to be fun. So there's all kinds of stuff happening this year. It's not on my calendar yet, but it'll get added. But that's kind of um, all stuff that's kind of week to week. I put it on my calendar, and we'll see how it goes. If I have the time off, if I have availability, if the weather's good, I'll go. I kind of keep my March and November's open uh, just in case something kind of pops up and the weather is good. But most of my core riding is like May to... Uh, September as far as events go. Um, okay, that's my 2019 in a nutshell. Last year was more exciting because there was more stuff going on, but uh, I owe Heather a trip. I mean, she, she's paying her away, of course, but like I owe her us going somewhere together. And uh, I keep telling her, you know, I guess spent that three grand for Europe that we'd spend uh, on a bike for her and nope, not working it out. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Rock on and uh, ride safe.